the UN Environment Program. I'm the head of Ozone Action Branch, UN Environment Program, UNEP. And uh, UNEP is one of the implementing agencies of the Montreal Protocol. Um, we, su we support governments and countries in the phase out of the HCFCs and phase out of ozone depleting substances. Uh, initiated by UNEP, in fact, several years ago, um, was the concern of choice of alternatives for high ambient temperature conditions, and especially in this particular region. Hence, the team in uh, the Regional Office for West Asia Compliance Assistance Program initiated a project in order to look into low global warming potential alternatives, specifically for high ambient temperature countries. This project is now financed by the Multilateral Fund and uh, will assess the different types of alternatives, alternative refrigerants for the high ambient temperature countries. We all know that the um, refrigerants are actually the cornerstone to life, promoting good health um, in the use in hospitals, in refrigerators, uh, in hospitals for preservation of vaccines, for food safety and security. And so it's therefore ozone depleting substances are a fundamental and integral part of our daily lives. Even the mattresses we sleep on um, contain some, some sort of ozone depleting substance. So therefore the meeting is really important in addressing the needs of the high ambient temperature countries. The countries are faced with the alternatives, the design of the alternatives, how to use them, how to use them at high ambient temperature conditions due to flammability, toxicity issues. But there's also another dimension in it, how to choose the appropriate alternative um, refrigerant at high ambient temperature, respect with full respect for the environment, that is taking into account energy efficiency and other cross-cutting issues and the choice of alternatives. So the aim of this particular symposium, uh, the FOT symposium in a row, is really to look at the risk assessment, uh, development of refrigerants and the future and how can industries actually position themselves to meet the demands and the rising demands of this region. And this is because of decisive action of international community and the private sector in, in taking the challenge of developing alternatives and alternative refrigerants uh, to address the uh, environmental concerns. So this conference, which is hosted by the United Arab Emirates, uh, under the patronage of uh, His Excellency Minister for Environment and Water has brought together over 300 participants uh, in order to discuss and to debate and share ideas and lessons learned on how to develop these alternatives taking into account um, the design um, and concerns of high ambient temperature con conditions such as flammability, toxicity, training as well as standard issues. So this, uh, we already have a large participation and a large turnout. Um, we are very grateful for all the organizers and the international agencies and the private sector who are here in numbers to, to share uh, the experience and, and to take forward uh, this important uh, issue of developing the alternatives for high ambient temperature conditions.